Hello friends! Welcome to Kids Club today and today we're going to be making a torn paper toast. In your packets you found a piece of black construction paper, some white construction paper and a piece of yellow construction paper. We didn't put in some glue and a marker but I'm sure you guys have that at home. So to make a torn paper ghost card, we're going to get started by shaping the moon with some torn paper. And we will use regular glue for that. You can use liquid glue or glue sticks. Sometimes I feel like glue sticks are spoil us because they are so easy. So I'm going to be tearing my paper and putting the little pieces on the black piece of paper. So I'm tearing my yellow piece of paper to form a circle to resemble the moon. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. Tearing paper is really good to get your hands strong, so I totally recommend that you do it that way. And see how I'm going over some pieces that I had already cut? Because I think I want to make the moon bigger. So, and if I leave any glue showing, it will dry clear, so there is no problem. Halloween is coming. It's going to be around the corner, very close, and I hope you guys have your customs ready. Aha! Uh -huh. What is it you picked this year? Are you a superhero or something else? Well, don't forget, I love looking at your pictures, so parents, if you want to share, that's okay. I have received some, some pictures that parents say, Hey, Miss Carmen, my little one wanted you to see this picture, but please don't share it. And we also get some pictures in which parents allow us to share, to share them on social media. There you have it. That's my moon. And I'm going to do the same with the white paper to shape a ghost. Tearing paper is kind of noisy, so I'm not sorry. Alright. And I'm going to shape a ghost. There you go. Since ghost is going to be bigger, I am making a big ghost here. Very well. You can use this to decorate your room, to put it on a fridge with a piece of tape or a magnet, to give it to a friend who you haven't seen, mail it to grandma. You can be creative and use it for many, many, many different things. See how the ghost is flying over the moon in a very dark night. That's what this is supposed to resemble. Stay tuned! Don't forget to stay tuned! Our sign-ups to get craft kits for November are also coming up. They are going to start on October 19. First come, first served. Try to cover the whole space. Don't do, well, it could be transparent, but you can do whatever you please. It's your art project. I would like to see pictures, though.
have you heard about the tribe through trick or treat at the library? You haven't? Check our calendar. We're going to have candy and goodies for all ages. And in the evening, we also will have a story time with a friendly witch. If you, are, if you have little siblings, make sure you watch it with them. Encourage them to become as good readers as you guys are. Very good. So that is my ghost, torn paper ghost flying over the moon. And I am going to use the black sharpie to draw some eyes on it. Okay, and you can do the same. I hope it doesn't look too scary. I think probably this is easier done when the glue is all dry. And there goes a mouth. Ooh. 